Hey guys! So in today's video I'm going to do a cage cleaning video. I'm going to chat a little bit while cleaning the cage. I only did some time lapse and now you guys can see how much work it actually is to clean the guinea pig cage. I have some music on the background so I hope it doesn't disturb you guys. So this is what the cage looks like before cleaning. They didn't have their pellets yet because I'm going to clean the cage. It's Monday morning, so they will get their pellets when I'm done. As you can see, there's hay everywhere. There's poops everywhere. Some things I'm going to change are the blue hideys. They're going to be the same as the background. And that's it. I'm going to chat a little bit while cleaning the cage. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Something else that I want you guys to see is the outside like that's not normal like everything is on the ground over there there's a plant hanging around there was a big storm in the Netherlands and it ruined literally everything and this is actually the view from our house so that's very nice but that's just a little bit extra that I wanted to share like over there there's a table and actually that's a couch and that couch used to stand on the other side of the balcony. So there's a plant on the ground and it's just horrible. So let's get started cleaning the piggies. I'm considering of buying a new cage. And the only reason that I haven't bought the cage is because it's open. And I'm very scared oh, sorry. because it's open and I'm scared that the guinea pigs will climb out because they're not used to that. Charlie, my first guinea pig, who jumped like 30 centimeters high. So that's a concern. That I have and the only benefit I got from a new cage is that this thing in the middle where they need to jump over is gone and further it's going to be a little bit more wide but the surface will stay the same so I don't know what to do So I'm very curious what you guys think of this cage. Like, do I need to do a new, a new cage or not? I don't know. So that's a better view. Guinea pigs, yay. So what do you guys think? The piggies are quite happy in their cage, but I'm always looking to get them a better life. Get them a better cage. Getting them better food. Maybe I am spoil them a little bit. So... I'm still having a cold, so if I sound weird, I'm sorry for that. They're losing a lot of fur. Like normally, it's like 10 minutes cleaning the fleece and I'm done. But it's very horrible. And they ripped this cozy. So I need to fix that. I'm going to learn how to make my own cozies. So I'm very excited for that. I bought some fleece. And I bought some fabrics. And I borrowed the sewing machine of my mother. And I'm going to start to learn how to make some Please cozy some cuddle cups, some snuggle bags, stuff like that. 
All right, yeah, we're done. Well, we're done cleaning the fleece. So I'm just going to get the camera to the other side. Yes. So I clean one side at a time. And I'm going to start with this side. I'm sorry, piggies. And I decided to um, go to clean the fleece at the back as well. So we're going to take that off. Sometimes you just need to clean that because it gets really dirty. So normally I do this a little bit faster, but as I said before, talking and cleaning at the same time, it takes practice for me to do. So I'm sorry if this is going to be a very long video, but then you guys can enjoy the piggies longer. So maybe it's a win-win situa situation. A situata? Situation. So, and I can practice my English. while doing that so you guys won't get bored of me talking so I'm putting the newspapers on the ground and I'm getting the bedding in so it's a different brand of bedding and when this runs out I will go back to the other bedding because this bedding is really hard it's not too hard for guinea pigs, so it's a good padding if you like it, but I just prefer the other one. For people living in Holland, it calls Flospan. And this one is brandless. It's from the local store, it's cheap, but I just don't like it. I don't think the guinea pigs have their favorites. I think they're okay with both of them. As you can see, the guinea pigs are used 
to staying at one side. They're not getting to the other side unless I told them so. And yes, guinea pig can listen. At least mine can. They're used to this routine since they were little. So it's quite normal for them. I think you can teach your guinea pigs a lot of things like routines, uh, what to do, what not to do. All right, so I think we got the bedding in. And as you can see, there's really a big difference between a clean side and a dirty side. And then over here, I got all this stuff that I want to put in the cage. I have a wooden house and I have some fleece house with a guinea pig print on it. It's the G-Force print. So let's get the house. And put it in. It's quite a big house. And as you can see, Teddy noticed that he can go to the other side because it's clean. And there's Donut coming. Come here, Donut. Yeah, this is home. So they're going to explore their side of the cage. You don't want to put too much hay in a hay house because if it's too tight they can't rip it out of the house so it needs to have some air I've made that mistake before like why aren't you eating that because it's too tight mommy and yeah a lot of guinea pigs are lazy and they don't want to work for their food so this is what it looks like and as you can see they immediately start eating and just put the lid on and then it's a house so that's very cool so i'm going to clean the other side of the cage side of the cage is always more dirtier than the other side it's because it's the side where donut sleeps and donut pees a lot because he drinks a lot because of his sugar disease the reason I say sugar disease is because I'm really having a hard time say saying diabetes Dia well, saying sugar disease in English. Like in Dutch, it's diabetes, diabetes. So it really looks like the English version, but you just pronounce it differently. So I practice that, but I'm really stuttering saying diabetes. Wow, that was nice. 
So yeah, I am human and some things I can't pronounce. I'm sorry for that. So I hope you guys don't mind me saying sugar disease because it makes my life a lot more easier. So this is all G4. Oh my god. And they can go in the Heidi. I just leave it like that. I also had a snuggle bag. It's this one. But I think it's okay like this. We're just going to use the snuggle bag another time. Oh my god, he's in the Heidi. Look at that. That's so cute. Well, that's a success. They had never had a cube before. Oh, sorry. They never had a cube before. They always had the, the round post kits. And a cube is much larger. And I think this is going to be a favorite. Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh, he's so relaxed. Oh my god. Hello. That's so cute. Alright, so this is what their clean cage looks like. And as you can see, Donut is in the cube. And he really enjoys that. So maybe we need to buy more cubes or make more cubes. So this was a video about me cleaning the cage. I hope you guys enjoy it. And of course they will get their pellet dish and a water bottle. But I'm just going to do that without the camera. And I hope to see you guys soon. Bye guys.